If you've been working through the videos, then by now you should have a rough idea of what it means for, for a sequence to converge and what it means for a sequence to diverge. Now we're going to look at the precise definition. So the sequence AN, so that's this, uh, that's this line here, the sequence AN will converge to, uh, to, the number, to, to, to the number L here if for every positive number epsilon so, so this is your epsilon here. So you can think of epsilon as, as being your, your tolerance, your, your level tolerance. So, so if you, let's say it's 0.3 here. So it can be, it can be, uh, L plus 0.3 or L minus, L minus, uh, L minus 0.3. So, so this epsilon is basically L plus epsilon and L minus epsilon here. So, so for any, for any given tolerance that you give me, so for any any given uh, tolerance that you give me, there must exist an integer capital N. Let let's say capital N. There must exist. So capital N could be could be um, could be anywhere along here. But let them there, there, there must be a capital N such that such that for all small n above capital N. So any number any small n here uh, beyond capital N here. Uh, if you look at the difference of the two, it must stay. Uh, it, the, the the difference of the two must be less than epsilon. So you can interpret this bit as being, uh, well, if if you if you get the sequence, take away the true limit. So so hang on. So if if you uh, if you get the the sequence, if you get the sequence, take away the true limit. So you can think of that as being the sequence, take away the true limit. So that's this that's this magnitude here. That's this distance here. Well, this distance here must be less than the uh, le less than the, uh, the 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 tolerance that you've given me. So the tolerance here is this thing here. So you can see that this magnitude is within within the epsilon here. Epsilon here is here from here to here. So so you can think of this thing here. Uh, well, if you look at the sequence, take away the true limit. Let's say the sequence is here. Okay. So uh, so so let's say the sequence is here. Well, if you get the sequence here, take away the true limit. So that, that would then, that would, that would then give you this distance, this, this magnitude here. Well, this magnitude here is less than, less than the, uh, less than L plus epsilon. So, so the point, you, you can interpret this as being, as being the sequence staying within, within, within this line and this line. So, because if, if you go beyond this, look at this here. If, if you look at, if you look at the, uh, the the actual sequence take away capital L here then 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 this bit here this whole thing here can be interpreted as being the magnitude of this or well, the magnitude of this is now bigger is now bigger than than the the uh, the epsilon here the epsilon is from from here to here and then and then here the uh, the, the the true the true um, the true sequence take away capital L well that that represents this this length here well you can see that this in the case of this thing here this magnitude is bigger than this so you can interpret this as being as being the uh, well you can interpret it as being the sequence staying within here and within here okay so so uh, so so what it means is for any for any given for any given eps epsilon um, there, there must exist a capital N. There must exist, let's say, a capital N here. There, there must exist a capital N where all N bigger than capital N. If you look at the difference of the two, then, uh, well, you interpret it as being the sequence stays within, within here and within here. So, uh, so it cannot do this, for example. If, if, if it does do this, then, then set your capital N to be, to be somewhere over here. Then, then you can still say the limit exists. So, so what, what it's saying is that there, there must exist a capital N where there must exist a capital N where where beyond that capital N the sequence must stay within within these two within these two lines here. So, so it can do whatever it wants, but it must stay within 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 these two lines here. Okay. So, so if if a sequence does something like this, but 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 then it, it can still converge here because you would then set your capital N to be somewhere over here. Um, 
because then this will still be true because all the n above all the small n are beyond capital N here falls within within your tolerance so even though it's doing this um, it, it can still converge just move your cap capital N to the right as long as all number beyond beyond uh, capital beyond capital N are the tolerance are the the actual sequence lie within these two lines okay I will continue in the next video